What is up everybody? Rydius back here with yet another Fruity Loops tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm going to try to explain you explain to you, you know, how compressors work and how they differ from limiters and you know what all this means pretty much. Um what a compressor does is it takes, you know, the sound and if it goes above a certain you know level it will crush that sound down to even it out um, so you have more of like a flat sound like if you're recording vocals you know you're getting really loud and then really low the compressor will you know bring that up and it will you know push it down as needed so if you think like where the clouds are on the earth you know um, as you know to a song how would I explain this it's not actually that complicated so you think of where the clouds are and that's the certain level of the earth and above the clouds you know you don't want any sound going above the clouds so what a compressor would do is it would set the level where the clouds were on the earth and anything that tried to go above the clouds it would just push them back down um, it's a lot different. A limiter, what a limiter would do was if anything went above the clouds, it would just cut it off. Plain and simple. So if you think of an airplane, you know, going up in the air to go above the clouds, a compressor would, you know, bounce the airplane back down to under the clouds. It would not let the airplane go above the clouds. Whereas a limiter, if the airplane tried to go over the clouds, it would just cut the fucking plane in half and you would die and crash. So th that those are the differences of a compressor and a limiter. So you know, the threshold is where, you know, the compressor is going to limit the sound level. So if you got 0 dB, it's not going to let you know any sound go over 0 dB um as long as you have the gain set to nothing. If you, you pump the gain 2.3 and you have the threshold at zero, it's gonna let you know the sound's gonna come out at 2.3 dB. So you gotta play with the settings and you know get the grasp of it. The ratio is um you know how much it crunches. So you think like two to one, you know, so if something's this is kinda complicated. Um, it's hard to explain. So the ratio, like two, like if we have it at two to one, um, anything that's you know the noise level of two is going to be crunched down to the level of one. So it's going to flatten the vocals out. Anything that's louder, it's going to you know bring those down to the level at one. If that makes any sense. Um, the attack is how fast it compresses it. Um, so if you want a slower attack, you know, so it's not so noticeable, you know, you can play with that. The release is, you know, at the end of when the compressor is doing its work is how long it takes for the compressor to go back to normal. You know, bring the levels back up to normal. And the type is hard, which means, you know, it's going to cut pretty quick and hard. And, uh medium it's a self explanatory vintage soft you know it's n it's not gonna it it'll be a little more subtle so yeah i wish i could explain the ratio a little bit better to you um it's kind of really hard to explain so if you don't know uh just type in compressor ratio in google and I'm sure, you know, somebody has a better explanation than I do. I mean, I know what it does. I can think about it in my mind. It's just hard to explain. So let's say, I'll try again. It's 5 to 1. Anything that's up in the 5 range in the song is going to be crushed down to the level of 1. So that's pretty much all I know how to explain it. If you play with them and use the information I gave you you know you get a better definition of what the ratio is from you know Google or Wikipedia or something like that then uh, you know I, I bet you get a better understanding but the rest of this makes sense so if we had the threshold at you know minus 9.1 um, the compressor is gonna 
you know, limit the sound to minus 0.1 decibels. And if it was a limiter, it would limit it to 9.1 decibels, minus 9.1 decibels, but it would cut your sound off right there. So you don't really want to use limiters on vocals or anything like that. That's why you always hear about them using compressors with vocals because it's going to push your sound down instead of just clipping it off. So I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions or comments, always feel free to leave a comment below. Um, if you don't get the ratio thing, uh, you know, you can't seem to grasp that, just send me a message. I'll try to explain it better if I can. Um, so I hope this was helpful, guys. Have a good day.